In the morning, my friends, how are you today? You're listening to the podcast that is the top of the charts at Ann Street in Bemidji, Minnesota. This Bible-based devotion podcast is designed to get you out of that coffee haze and into a right state of mind to start your day before the water gets cold in the shower. Right now, we're working our way through the Gospels, but our content has varied through different parts of the Bible in the three years we've been doing this. This week, we look a few pages down the line from Luke 10 over to Luke 17 and the healing of the ten leprous men. You don't have to live in an isolated colony to start to understand the immense love that Jesus has for not just them, but for all people through his actions and his words. So if you like what you hear, share it with a friend. If you look in the podcast description on the app that you're using, in every episode, there is a share link for you to email or text to a friend. I've tried to make the link as obvious as possible, so let me know if it isn't obvious at john.kirk at stmarksbemidji.org. Share it because it's studying the Word of God and faith in Jesus and His perfect life, death, and resurrection comes by hearing the Word. And salvation comes to us by faith in Jesus alone. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. It's John 3.16. You know it well, don't you? It's not just something to write on a billboard. It has profound, eternal implications. Why would you not tell everyone that you know? So, stop looking for your hammer pants. Your mom threw those away ten years ago. Let's just pause and listen to the word of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 19, we read these words. While Jesus was on the way to Jerusalem, he was passing between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten leprous men, who stood at a distance, met him. And they raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go, and show yourselves to the priests. And as they were going, they were cleansed. Now, one of them, when he saw that he had been cleansed, turned back, glorifying God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving thanks to him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed, but the nine? Where are they? Was no one found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has made you well. This is my text. In the name of Jesus, amen. There is one very interesting word in this text. It is translated, made you well. Your faith has made you well. Agreed, the term might be used of healing or recovery from a physical malady of some sort, but not that often in Scripture. The word in the original language that translators render, made you well, is the same word Scripture uses for saved. Jesus didn't tell the cured leper that he was healed, but that he was saved. The tenth leper first cried out to Jesus because he had heard of Jesus, and faith was worked in him by hearing that word of Jesus. And in faith to that word of Jesus, faith gifted to him by God the Holy Spirit through the word he heard, he returned to Jesus, his master, to give thanks. And he was healed and saved because of Jesus. Jesus did what Jesus does by being about the Father's business of redeeming and saving sinners, sending the Holy Spirit to deliver his forgiveness and healing to all sinners, to all who will listen to him. The Samaritan, the tenth leopard, listened to him, believed, and was saved. Jesus said so. No man makes the first move here. As Romans 3 reminds us, none is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have all become worthless. No one does good, not even one. So there's nothing here to earn God's mercy. Faith doesn't earn or merit anything. The lepers were cleansed because Jesus, in great mercy, cleansed them. And it is through faith the blessings of Christ are received. 
God isn't merciful because of the goodness of man, the works of man, or the merits of man. He's merciful because that's who he is. He is merciful. And he promised to show that mercy, and he showed it. That is what our Jesus does. The same is true for you, too. God isn't merciful to you because of you, but because of Christ. God, in his mercy, has sent his only Son to die for you, and for his sake, God forgives you all of your sins. Go your way in peace. Give thanks. You are healed. Your faith has saved you. In the name of Jesus, amen. That's all there is for today, but we are so happy you took a few moments out of your busy day to listen to God's Word with us. Please consider subscribing to our podcast to hear more devotions like this, Monday through Friday, and to hear our Sunday sermons as well. We also cordially invite you to join us for church every week at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website at www.stmarksbemidji.org. 